Monday the 26th of September. Um, bit of a quiet day really. Um, just really focused on a bit of admin and paperwork. Uh, but I did wake up to 16 uh, emails, texts, WhatsApp messages, messenger, you name it. Um, four focusing on one-to-one -one sessions, uh, all new clients and like you say, 12 other um, parents throughout the regions of Hull, Desborough and uh, Oadby of what we're about and how we do things. So we got through them today, which is good. Um, and then it was a bit of a lazy day, really. Just went out for a bite to eat and then went down the driving range just to try really improve my golf. Um, since this video or last week's video, shall I say, has come out about my golfing, you know you are people. I've had about 12 people saying that they're going to play me for money, blah, blah, blah. So listen, lads, I'm not ready yet. But the, um, keep your money nice and tight. I'll definitely be taking it off you in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I mean, tonight really is about the focus of Leicester City uh, development. As you know, again, if you watched last week, it's my new Oldby town or Oldby region, shall we say, uh, on the tens. Uh, what we're we expecting tonight? Not much. I'm not going to lie to you. Not much. I'm just going to go there. The main focus tonight is to go and enjoy it. And um, they've had one session. This will be an, an added kind of training ground session, uh, but in a game format. Um, but yeah, it's just go and enjoy it tonight. You know, the, the, there's no pressure. There never is any pressure on these games anyway throughout the throughout the academy. Um, what I'd like to see, and I hope I do get it, is a lot of bravery. Go and get yourself on the ball. Get yourself on the ball, and even if you've misplaced the pass three or four or five times, just don't worry about it. You know, mistakes happen, but there's going to be plenty tonight. And all we need to do, in um, in my personal opinion, is go and be brave. Go and show me how much of a leader you can be. Um, we develop players. Of course we do. We love developing players. You know, our stat at the minute is very good. We're getting an average of three people out a month, which is fantastic. Um, but what I do like to develop is their mindset you know, the confidence side of things and, you know, the unknown of going to these academies, you know, we really do focus a lot on the mindset and, and, and how the brain, how the young kids and how the young brains actually do work. Um, so, yeah, so that that's basically it for tonight, as in me really chatting. But the next time we'll, 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 you'll see the video is hopefully, because I do believe Leicester will allow the camera tonight, so hopefully be able to set something up where you can hear a bit of a team talk. Me and Tom throughout the game, um, giving instructions and hopefully a little bit of passage of play of, of what we're expecting. So yeah, just stay tuned. Um, there'll be a little bit of a clip of my golf day as well today. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully you'll see um, how we get on tonight. And uh, so I'll speak to you soon. Let's come in. I'll just recap what we said. Basically, what we want to be doing, I'm not interested in mistakes, I'm just, just make a mistake, but try and do the right thing. We're going to do a little bit on there now, just literally a bit of a shadow play. Please enjoy it. Freddie, Jay at the back, Hamza just coming to the little pocket all the time. Get on it at every cost, mate. Yeah, be brave, I want you to be brave, I want you to be brave, I want you to be brave. He will play out from the back, he's a very, very good keeper, and he'll demand it all the time. He'll always talk to you. You've done exactly what I've said, by the way. And I mean that, you've done exactly what I said. Now these are no, you know, these are a cat one, Leicester City. Unbelievable, get it, pass it. Couple of times, first couple of seconds, and you, cause you love getting it out of your feet, I love that. But what, what I'm saying there is, when you do the correct thing by just opening your body, Amza, how many triangles have we played today? A lot. A lot of triangles. You know what, I'm so proud of you boys, it's unreal. You've never played together, kind of. I know I'm there, but I think, you know, a couple of you have. You know what? I'm so, so proud of you. Because we feel comfortable and we look comfortable. Yeah? Dylan's very comfortable. He's been with me a while now. But he'll always make a thing happen. Now, Dylan, sometimes, if you want to just do that little channel ball, I ain't got a problem with it. But you know what? Every single one of you, Luke, Ethan, uh, Jay, Freddie, Hamza, I promise you now, them triangle passes, we've done more triangle passing than they have. We've had more opportunities. We look the better side. We look more comfortable. Honestly, I'm so, so proud. I'm really, really proud of you. All I want now is 25 minutes of very, very hard work. So when the ball goes out of play, can we get in position nice and early? Because what will happen there, if we get in position nice and early, we'll get our breathers quicker. 
But if we just dawdle into there, all of a sudden it's kickings, remember? So all of a sudden we're back at it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Honestly, lads, you listen. Well, 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 uh, really, really, honestly, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, just watched young Jack Lawton, uh, first training session at Coventry, and yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was blown away to be fair. He, he, he just adapted so, so well. Now, what usually happens in, in the, like, a kind of like the academy trial period, so to speak, they have like a couple of weeks icebreaker. And then they try and you know really assess them after that. But Jack has, and I, honestly, I'm, I'm I'm absolutely buzzed. I'm smiling like you would not believe. He's been invited to play already against Cardiff on Sunday. So obviously, what does that tell you? You know, he's obviously impressed um, very quickly and very strongly. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm one of the coaches. Obviously, they did know me. Obviously, and now I'm, I'm watching quite. You know, I get a little bit better view than the and then the parents do. And uh, he said, "Oh, you're you his dad." Obviously, clearly not. But he, you know, I, I was I was proud, realistically, like a dad. To be honest with you, um, and it just makes me listen. I love my job, and I absolutely, you know, I love everything about my job. But this now, and listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, they, they haven't. No one's asked him to sign or anything like that. But it's just the fact that somebody has come in, like Jack, and made a really good impression. Um, but that makes me want to develop more players. And listen, again, it's, is it all less pathway? Of course it's not. You know, they, they have their own little pathway themselves. and they've, But they've come to me for reasons. And them reasons are I can actually give them every opportunity possible. And that's why I'm proud. You know, I don't care what people say. Listen, I'm so proud of what I'm doing and, and listen it's not Scott Goodwin it's my coaches as well and everybody involved with SG Pathway don't get me wrong but I am I'm, honestly I'm the most delighted person tonight and, you know and I, I can't wait to speak to Jack in, in, in person uh, within the next 10-20 minutes and obviously his dad um, but yeah I, I, I am actually lost for words now because I just am that, I'm that excited for him like I say it's only one session you know football's a strange you know but you, people know football is brutal and it is it's a tough environment but for for me to go and watch an hour and 45 minutes that and be and, and be proud and uh, I'll be honest with you I was doing cartwheels cartwheels inside 
Um, but again, my professional lad was going, yeah, he's doing all right, he's doing all right. But well done, Jack. Um, and yeah, that's my end of Tuesday. Um, and what an end, to be fair. What an absolute end to Tuesday. So um, I'll be doing more videos throughout the week. So yeah, stay tuned, people. Morning, people. Thursday morning. Um, obviously, didn't really do anything yesterday, as in video was. Uh, obviously, at Harley Street, uh, just checking up on my my health, which is perfectly fine. I'll get the results today. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just like a six-month thing now. So, you know, as long as I'm ticking them boxes, I'll still be around and uh, smiling. But yeah, so yesterday was just a day of. It just felt weird, obviously, with not football, obviously, because, you know, I'm full-time now, and it's a case of when you have a day off, you, the next day you're kind of itching to get back. And, uh, you know, my, my, my um, train journey yesterday was just purely based on texting, phone calling, making sure the coaches are right, the parents are right, the players are all right. More inquiries, which, again, I think from last week, we've got an extra 40 players in. So it's just, it's absolutely, it's going bigger and bigger and better. Um, today, um, again, paperwork really, nothing major. And then my little boy, little Louie, has got a school game uh, at three o'clock, I think it is. So I'll go to that. And then it's um, training, uh, my under 10s, 11s and 14s. So again, really looking forward to tonight's session. A great group great attitudes um, and then I'll be able to do a bit of um, video footage so yeah stay tuned again and then um, next time you'll hear from me we'll be on the training ground take care for now Here we are, Friday morning of the, uh, what is it, now I'm 43, at the old Turkish, well done boys again, I just wish they made me look younger, but unfortunately that'd be impossible. Um, going back to yesterday, um, obviously I'm doing these videos, for, you know, for the purpose of, it. you know, the R's and the lows really, and the good and the bad. Now for me, if this was all, oh look at me, it's amazing, this is, it would be kind of false in some respects. So yesterday, if I'm honest with you, you know, when you send these group texts out about training and games and stuff like that, and you see a couple of thumbs downs where they can't make the session, it, it kind of gets you a little bit because you think, well, you know, previous to our conversations to these parents, and this is not aimed at anybody, by the way, it's just, this is just in general. When they speak to me before it, oh yeah, Scott, it sounds fantastic, absolutely brilliant. That, you know, and every every parent thinks their kid's brilliant, which, listen, of course they do, and, and that's an obvious thing. But when it comes to the commitments levels, 
I don't think people understand how hard it actually is being a a, a, a proper academy parent, as in what, what I mean by a proper, because obviously we're an academy, but you like your Coventry Cities or your Villas or wherever it'll be, they train three times a week. And now that's a lot of a commitment, yeah, and then obviously they play at the weekend. So when they say, oh, I can't make it this week, and I, it kind of, you'd kind of think, well, would you do that if you was at a professional club? Probably the answer is no. So what we do, we mix up not very often, but we'll, we'll play a lot of academies, hell of a lot of academies, but every now and again, we'll just drop a little development uh, team in. And the reason why we do that is, let's have a look who really wants to think, oh, actually, we've been playing academy teams now. Do we really think? But that's the parents. The kids will always play the games, regardless of who it is. But the, the, it's the mindset of the parent now, where they go, well, he's played Coventry, uh, Academy, Villa Academy, Wolves Academy, whoever it'll be, and then, oh, we don't really want to be playing Leicester Development now. So that kind of gives us an indication of, right, so we kind of get that little vision of, right, so that's more of a, you only want to play the glamorous games. Now, there's another thing that we do. We get, uh, we get them to pay an upfront payment uh, each month. Now, if they don't turn up for training or their attendance is poor, and again, I'll be honest with you, 97% of my players are unbelievable, week in, week out. That 3%, I'm onto their parents going, you know, how come you not at training? Now, if I wasn't that bothered, don't forget, I'll get the, I'll get the payment up front. So really, if I wasn't that bothered and, and, and care and attention for their child, because I really want to develop everybody, I wouldn't be chasing them saying, oh, how come you not at training this week? So, you know, they'll give me the money. So it. I'm happy with that then. But I'm not. I invest in every single kid. So for me to get a little bit like, oh, a little bit deflated by saying, well, why aren't you, you know, why aren't you coming? Because some of these players have got an absolute fan quality that could actually go places. So, you know, these videos, like you said, it's not all going to be like smiles and laughter and stuff like that. It is going to be a little bit disheartening because I was flat yesterday, yesterday afternoon, yesterday morning, but then as soon as I'm on that training field, I come alive again because you know what the kids absolutely love the sessions and that's the most pleasing thing for me today friday fantastic again like you say turkish trim i'm back at it but there's that little couple of hours where i just think you know what do these parents want because we're not grassroots let's 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 put it out there we're 100 not grassroots we don't willy-nilly come when we want when we do turn up we expect a little bit of professionalism because we are now that next stage where we're trying to guard them and rock up on time, do the right things, you know, eat the right things, sleep the right times, stuff like that. So we're trying to guard them in every possible way. So when we do get a little bit disheartened, and, and Tom was the same, he was a little bit disheartened yesterday. And, you know, we chat every day and stuff like that. And But now again, after last night's session, great session. Back at it again today. We, you can't beat it. So today's plan is I've actually got another meeting in Nordby. Um but these meetings are going fantastically well. There's a little bit more to it you see at the minute and I can't really tell you what uh, but it'll obviously all come out. And then really tonight uh the Ordby session tonight is actually cancelled. Um not cancelled it's just off. Uh we regroup next week. So I'll just be watching Old City on Sky against Luton. Even though I've got season tickets I'd rather watch it in the warm tonight. But uh, yeah, the next probably videos will be um, a little bit of footage because um, uh, myself and Louis Coventry and Cardiff on Sunday under tens. So hopefully to bring you a bit of footage of that. But in the meantime, I will switch off and I'll speak to you all soon. Picking the dog up from the groomers, look absolute cock up again. Hey, loved it, didn't she? Look at that, cock up. This way, look. You go for a walk. That's what my Fridays are about now, look. Dog walking. Unbelievable. Yeah, just had a little trim, look. Can't be bad. I'm going to go for a walk and play a bit of football. I'll tell you what, for a dog, she's decent at football, by the way. I'm not even bantering. Look up. That's it. What you got? Is that
people. It's just always nice to end on the uh, working week with a phone call off Coventry to say we've got 25 free tickets um, for tomorrow's game, Coventry at home to Middlesbrough. <coughs> Unbelievable um, just generosity again from Coventry. Obviously, I can't speak highly of them. Obviously, I know I'm biased. Obviously, I've, you know, being a player, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, for, for a... For a football club, they really do bend over backwards for, for obviously their own players. But let you know, they could easily bypass me and just have that official link and just go look, Scott, try and get me players and just leave me alone. But you know, the communication between myself and the club's unbelievable. And that you know, a little gesture like that for 25 free tickets, you know, for me, it goes a long way. Um, so I'm actually just on route at quarter past five on a Friday night. Just en route to go to the training ground to pick them up. So um, the next part of our video will be um, a, lay, a little day out at Coventry at home to Middlesbrough. Coventry, I can't thank you enough. Superb. Morning, people. No, no, it's not. It's afternoon, actually. Quarter past 12, Saturday, Coventry, Middlesbrough. Massive thank you, as I said last night, to Coventry for their 25 tickets, um, freebies. Tell you a little secret, open the envelope as I got in last night, should have done it when I got to the training ground to be fair, only 19 tickets. So um, obviously rang Paul up and um, thankfully he's got another 11 or whatever spare. So we're just gonna go meet him quickly and then head over to the CBS Stadium now, as I call it, the recall, I suppose. Um, and then, yeah, so there's going to be 25 parents and kids there. SG Pathway, a little day out. And um, hopefully, it'll be a good day, regardless of the result. And we take it from there. I've got little man Louis in the van with me now. Hey, up, bobbing his head there, look. Uh, what's, called, what's your score prediction, mate? I don't know if you heard that with his little soft voice. He said Coventry City 1, Middlesbrough 2. Wowzers. I'll, um, next time you see us, we'll be at the ground. See you soon. to be fair, uh, it got a little bit scrappy, uh, but I think overall, I think uh, Coventry deserved the three points overall, and it's just nice for them to win, you know, you could just see the, the tension in the fans really last probably eight and nine minutes, and I was one of them to be fair, you're just willing them to, you know, kick on now, and hopefully they do, like you say, I'll always say it, you know, they're such a good club. They've got a big um, place in my heart. And um, yeah, just a really good day out. I've, again, I've got to really thank Coventry City again. Not only did they give us 25 tickets, but I went to see Paul earlier on, because obviously there was a bit of a mix up. He had to give me 11 extra tickets. So, you know, you've really got to tell your cap to him and say thank you. And there's plenty more as well. You know, he says, look, Scott, if you need them every week, give me the shout and I'll, um, I'll organize it. So, you know, unbelievable gesture from them. Now on to tomorrow. Um, the next time you the video will be rolling. Obviously, I won't be able to again take video footage, but next time it'll be rolling, it'll be tomorrow. Uh, me and little man Louis, commentary on the 10s versus Cardiff on the 10s. So until tomorrow. Now, 
Hello people, just coming back from Coventry City's training ground, Cobb under 10s, Cardiff under 10s, obviously myself and little man Louis. Um, really interesting game actually, uh, they play obviously four sets of 20 minutes, um, Coventry for the first 40 minutes, absolutely outstanding, the movement, the passing, the organisation, the rotation, you name it, absolutely brilliant, really really good to watch, Cardiff couldn't couldn't really get into their rhythm to be fair um, I think it was 2-1 at that point again scores are irrelevant I understand that to certain people but you know people still like to know what the result was and um, I mean again Coventry it, it was really good to watch and then all of a sudden it kind of flipped a little bit Coventry still had that great movement but Cardiff physicality come into it the, 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 the more the game grew Got, grew on, sorry, the more physical Cardiff seemed to get, and uh, they ran away with it 6 2 in the end. Cardiff, um, you know, their type of their Lewis type of games they are physicality, even though Lewis, you know, a, a very small technician. Um, but yeah, honestly, it was it's always good to watch that age as well because it's quite unpredictable, as I've obviously noticed in that 80 minutes of play there. But honestly, it was uh, it was a joy to watch. It really was good. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously Louis at Coventry on Tuesday, which is absolutely fantastic for SG Pathway. Obviously, being his dad as well. Obviously, all the family are absolutely delighted that he's um, he's going to go back training with him as well. And it's a case of let's see what happens in the in the near future. You know, Louis got a lot of clubs sniffing around him, which is good. Um, Having said that, um, George Picard, uh, my other under nine, he was playing his first game for Northampton under nines against Cambridge United, which is again a massive achievement for for everyone involved in his in his in his little pathway at the minute. So I'll, uh, I'll be speaking to his dad shortly. So we got on. So that's it, really. That that's my week uh, behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it, of SG Pathway. Um, this coming week, we've got a lot on. I'm, I'm finally back in Hull after two weeks being away. Obviously due to um, game time down where we live in the Midlands and obviously with health. Um, so yeah, my under nines and under twelves in the Desborough region are playing Leicester tomorrow. Unfortunately, I won't be there because I'll be down in Hull uh, coaching my... 11s, 12s, 13s and under 15 girls um, so my working week this week is Hull Monday uh, Coventry Tuesday um, Hull Wednesday Thursday Desborough and Friday we are playing Norwich City at Cambridge um, in between that um, if the weather keeps ok we'll be doing a couple of challenges with the parents they don't know this yet um, you know, we, we'll probably play a parent versus child in like an inflatable challenge, and I'll be getting my coaches to do some kind of how much do they know about football quiz. Um, so it'll be a little bit of fun and games in between. I want to get the parents involved. Obviously, I want to get the kids involved and the players, obviously. So yeah, next week will be jam packed, and it's it's a case of hotel life for me next week, uh, as I do stay over in Hull Mondays and Wednesdays. But yeah, I've hoped you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have. Please subscribe and like and uh, get it shared to anybody that you know of. Until next week, take care.